Okay, so let's look at these and <clears throat> see if we learn something new. <clears throat> So how do you define pledge? This is ChatGB. Is this the paid version or the free version? Paid version. This is the paid version. Okay. This will be interesting. It's a mix of both. It's a mix of both? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Because like the free version gave a better answer at some point or is just you had to... This is the paid version. I use the free version. How did you decide which version to combine. We just realized that it's paid. It's paid 3.5 Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Okay. That's good. How do you define Pluto? It's defined the actor using someone else's work ideas. Okay. You can, okay. Yep. That sounds good. Can a student use chat as a tool to help write a report? Yes, a student can use chat as a tool to help write a report. You know, but it's important to use it correctly and ethically. ChatGPT can assist with generating ideas, explaining complex topics, and providing outlines or drafts. However, students should ensure that they understand the content, blindly copy, but use the information to cite appropriately. If specific insights or formulas are they use directly, they should be properly paraphrased or cited to avoid plagiarism. Check your student verify. Okay, that's interesting. Check accuracy. I wasn't expecting that. That's very good, actually. Adhere to guidelines. Always adhere to the assignments, guidelines, and educational lessons. Paul, nice, nice answer. Okay, interesting, interesting answer. I, I think that's a good answer, actually. Is using chat to first consider? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Using chat to write. Without proper citation, I don't mean, well, ChatGPT can generate text sentences with us. It's crucial to remember that any work produced by it should be treated similarly to information obtained from other sources. Okay, yep, good, good. There is a question. Yes, John. Yes, certainly plagiarism. Yes, okay, good. Can How can a teacher detect when chat is used? Okay, detecting on the can be challenging, especially if the user takes measures to integrate the generated text seamlessly into their own writing. However, there are several potential indicators that a teacher might look for. Uncharacteristic writing style. Okay, that's interesting. Unusual complexity or sophistication. Sometimes beyond the level expected of a student. If the writing suddenly becomes more complex or advanced in certain sections, it might be a red flag. Inconsistencies in knowledge or understanding. If the content of the essay includes inaccuracies or inconsistencies that seem beyond the student's typical. Okay. Sudden shifts in tone and voice. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Use of uncommon art. So that's that sounds. This one seems a bit redundant. Like it seems to overlap with two. Okay. Consistency. Okay. This is again repeating. Consistency checks. Right. Inconsistencies. Okay, cross-referencing with online sources, yes, yes. So that's, those are good answers. Oh, this is really good, actually. <clears throat> so this is, a, this is what I was about to say. Ultimately, if a teacher suspects that a student has used ChatGPT or other AI tools to produce an essay, they may need to engage in a conversation with the student to gather more information and assess the student further. That's right. Like, that's one of the the things that a teacher can do. They can say, like, we need to have a talk, right? And if if I think that a student is plagiarizing something, I can invite them 
into my office, you know, with whatever that is they've written and start asking them questions like, can you explain what you meant by this sentence, right? Or what do you mean by this word and watch their reaction, right? If they wrote it, then they'll be able to handle that conversation. If they didn't write it, then that conversation will be uh, stressful. But that's the that's the last thing the the like the last uh, I don't know step. What are the best free online tools to detect plagiarism? Okay, Grammarly. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, in its premium version. Okay, okay, that's interesting. <coughs> Is this true? Has anybody tried Grammarly yeah. for plagiarism? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Q text. That's not free. Q text is not free. It says it has a free version. I don't know. I haven't tested it. Dupli checker. So there are, looks like quite a. So I wonder why Turnitin is not mentioned. Is it because there's no free version or something? Why is Turnitin not mentioned here? Okay. Plagiarism checker, paper grader. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so plagiarism link of paper, new assignment. So what happened here? You tested this paper. I can't. Okay. And a, a survey on data visualization and education. Why is that there? Do you guys know why this is here? The title. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, okay. And what did what did it, the results say? Uh, on the first line, 57, the whole uh, top right, top right, 57%. Yes. Oh, that's a pretty surprising result, isn't it? It should be like 90 you know, 90, whatever, 8%, right? So it's, it's, it's uh, underlining the plagiarized text. Is that what it's doing? But all of it's plagiarized, right? That's, that, see, this is an interesting exercise, isn't it? You don't, it, it's hard to predict how this stuff is gonna turn out. Okay, and then you you tried it you tried it on Turnitin. It looks like yeah, but it's too slow. And, uh, it, oh, slow I see, I yeah. see. It takes like a few hours or something. Okay, okay, good, good, interesting. <coughs> it's uh, it's it's an interesting exercise. I learned learned something new today. Plagiarism. So, which program are you using here? P A I. B A I. Do you want to add that to the Google Doc so we can see? Because it, it's, it's like one of the things we ask for.
think it's using Copilot and for Microsoft. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Yep. Yep. How do you define? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Plagiarism is defined as the process or practice of using. Yep. Okay. So you put in all these questions at the same time. And okay. Okay. Excuse me to assist in writing a report or essay for a university. I can provide information, generate ideas help with structuring the contact, even suggest improvements in language and style. However, it's important to note that the student should always critically engage with the material I provide, integrate it with their own understanding of this, and properly cite and direct any quotation or paraphrases. Okay, as for whether using me to write a report or say is considered plagiarism, it depends on how I'm used. If a student uses my responses verbatim without proper citation, it sh could be considered plagiarism because it's presenting someone else's work as their own. However, if a student uses my response as a resource, okay, that seems fine. How can a teacher, detecting whether AI will use for an answer can be challenging. However, there are some tools and techniques that teachers can use. Unusual phrasing, overly complex sentence structures, content that doesn't quite match the assignment's requirements. AI detection tools. Okay. So that's interesting. I don't know about those AI detection tools. For the best free online tools to take place when there are some that have been recommended. Okay. Looks pretty similar. Okay, so you you did which paper? Which paper is that one? Okay, so what does this, okay, 83% plagiarized, so this is basically working, that one seems to be working, which is good. Okay, so we have an online, we have one example that works, plagiariseddetector.net, that's good. I wonder what the 17% unique is. Yeah, you, you would expect this to be in the 90% since it's a hundred, it's 99%. But anyways, it, it, you know, at least if you were using this tool, you would have caught somebody. Any other, okay, we have another one here. I think I think the chat GPT answer is a little bit better than the the copilot answer. Okay. It would be better if you had the question where my word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right because it has a limit on the space, right? It has a yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. So this answer is different than the other one. This is kind of interesting. So I, I didn't know about all this stuff. So direct please, I know about direct and self. Paraphrasing without giving credit, even though the words are different. Okay, yep. Mosaic plagiarism, I've never heard that term before. Combining portions of text from multiple sources and fitting them together to create a new text. Okay, I never heard about that. 
accidental, yes, I have seen that. Source-based plagiarism. So I think, oh, that's, yep, okay, so that's like just errors, yep. Okay. That's using someone else's work. Yep. So the paid version is a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, more detailed. So just go to disclosure ethical because yep, that's that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Interesting. So the answers are different. So you yeah, had the second time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definition of plagiarism is institution. Okay, so it's repeating itself here. So it looks like a good answer. It looks like the free version is giving good quality answers to these questions. Mm -hmm. Depth and detail, okay. Surface level, okay. Unusual phrasing, consistency checks, technical tools, follow-up questions, yes. So this is the, the interview. Contextual understanding. That's an interesting recommendation there. Unusual sources or references. Yep. That's an interesting recommendation. Yeah, but this, it's not free for, but many educational is private access. Okay, okay. Yep, that makes sense. Lots of tools. Okay, so this is... Okay. Paper without changing the name. Okay, so this one is working. Which uh, program is this? Grammarly. So this one is working very well. Okay, so in this case you changed the name and it went from 100% to 92%. Okay, that's working very well, that one, Grammarly. Good. This one is, is what, what, what tool is this one? 
is this Grammarly again? Just a check. Last page. It's on last page. It's on the last page. I think it's to be checked. It was written above. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feedback Studio. Okay, so this one is working. Whatever that program is. Okay. That one, this one is working very well. But we're not sure what this tool is. This tool is turned in from our school. This is turned in. This is turned in. Okay, okay. So this is working. This one's working very well. It would be really surprising if it didn't work. Okay, good. This is plagiarism checker. This one is what? Plagiarism checker. Plagiarism checker. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, any other questions, comments? Well, I think we all learned something a little bit today. If nobody has any questions or comments, we can wrap it up for today. You're free, free to run, jump, and play.